Hello and welcome to For Your Journey. I'm Andrew. And I'm Travis. And today we're going to talk about expectations. So it's probably safe to say that everyone has some type of expectation, some level of expectation somewhere in their lives. And usually like what there's expectation and then reality, sometimes there's a gap, sometimes there's a smaller gap, and sometimes there's a larger gap. And usually that's where, you know, sometimes disappointment is bred or, you know, kind of comes from is like I was expecting this and the reality was this, there's some disappointment there. So our question we want to explore today is, is it is it wrong to have expectations? What do you think about that? Yeah, I think before we even get to that, like kind of what, what makes up an expectation, um, expectations have to uh, kind of happen, be- they have to happen before some event, like there has to, has to precede something. Right, they're future oriented. Right. I can't if, expect for something that happened like, right. in the past. That would just, that, that would be something else. Unless like, it's like a repeated thing, like I have an expectation in the future because of a, a pattern that's in the past has already demonstrated yeah. itself. And that's something of what an expectation is, is you start to see or perceive like a, a high chance of something happening. Yeah. Like I expect it because it seems very probable to me. It's right. the likely outcome. Right. And that's what that's what it is. It's an anticipated outcome. Okay. That the you're feeling like it it should happen. It probably would happen or it ought to based on other contexts. Right. And part of that context is looking at the maybe the different types of expectations. There's our expect expectations of each other that we have, you know, in our human relationships, you know, with our family and our friends and, and those around us. We perhaps have expectations of, of God, mm-hmm. right? There's God's expectations of us, yeah. And then also like our expectations that we have for ourselves. You know, what what type of measure are we putting ourselves against? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I guess those expectations God has for us, we don't really have too much say over those. So we're not right. Those can't be. <laughs> those are right. Right. Those, those are never wrong. Right. When God expects something of us, but uh, expectations of God, kind of going the other way, can be pretty dangerous. Um, mm-hmm. Because when uh, there is uh, a gap, that disappointment that in the gap between expectation and outcome, um, it puts some frustration in the relationship. Like it puts some tension between us and God. Mm-hmm. Uh, because we've said God ought to do this or God is going to do this or even just likely to do this and then he doesn't. Yeah. And that creates some, some uh, tension in our relationship. Right. And I mean that same uh, approach – creates tension in, in human relationships too when expectations aren't met, whether because they were realistic, perhaps unrealistic expectations too, yeah. factor in as well. Yeah. Because, yeah, I mean, and and whether or not it was realistic or unrealistic though, uh, still like the, the disappointment can be the same. Mm-hmm. Like I, I could expect something radical of you and then you don't come through. I can be disappointed just the same Yeah, whether or not it was realistic. And and that's true with God. If, if we have an unrealistic expectation of him, uh, we can still be disappointed. It can still create the tension mm-hmm. um, because we've we've come to expect something of God, um, and and that was unreasonable to do. Yeah, um, I think that's interesting because I have a Bible verse here to kind of perhaps counter that. It's a very popular sure. verse out of John, the fourteenth chapter of John, uh, verses thirteen through fourteen. Uh, the words of Jesus saying, "And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do." That the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Yeah, that's um, a, kind of a real popular verse to kind of pull out and, mm. and say, oh, okay, but like God said that he would give me anything I asked as long as I say right. in Jesus' name. It's just like a blanket I can put at the end, like a quick clause, be like, and we're good. Yep. And it could be when you're proof texting, you're saying like, oh, it could be anything. I can say I want the, the best car or the mm-hmm. best house or um, the, the, the coolest gadget right. um, on the block. Um, but that's not really uh, kind of what that means. Really what we're saying is when we're saying in Jesus' name, we're saying I'm saying this, saying it as if Jesus said it. Like I believe Jesus wants this. Yeah, it's what he wants and kind of in the – in the approach of how we would want it, kind of humbly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it. it says even in the Bible verse about uh, it being glorifying to God. Yeah. Um, so if it's not bringing any glory to God, really we ought not to be asking for it. And even though we're saying in Jesus' name, it's it's not it's not really something Jesus would be asking for if it doesn't glorify God. Um, and so 
uh, you may or may not have this coolest gadget on the block, or you may or may not have the coolest car. Um, but that's that's not the point. The point is like when we're asking it, what's what's kind of behind that? Yeah. Um, so we can't. Well, we can. We can ask God. We can ask God for anything, but we can expect only that which He's promised, only that which glorifies Him, only that which mm-hmm. is is in alignment with His will. Yeah, I think. Okay. So ultimately. Going back to our question of is it wrong to have expectations, it, it depends on the expectation. It depends on kind of the, the purpose of it, the context of it, what, why we're expecting those things. Yeah. And does that bring glory to God? Yeah. An interesting question to kind of run with then is what does God expect of us? Right. Absolutely. So um, if you're watching this on uh, YouTube or Facebook, you can actually you know, share this video or, or comment below. And, and answer that question. You know, what do you think God expects of you? Or if you're watching on our mobile app, you can share it and add your comment to that question that way. So, cool. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining us on this episode of For Your Journey. If you have any suggested questions or topics, you can find us on Facebook or Twitter. And once again, I'm Travis. And I'm Andrew. And this has been For Your Journey.